Welcome to our new U-boat development log. As some of you may be aware, for some time now we have been working on the beta version for Kickstarter backers. It's going to be made available soon, right after the decision is made that it meets necessary quality standards. This video is meant as a quick presentation of what's going to be included in the beta version, and what you can expect from it. There are two separate modes in the beta, Campaign and Sandbox mode. In the final game, such divisions won't exist, but instead Campaign and Sandbox will be fully integrated. It's separated in the beta version for quality of life reasons. Let's start a new game. Now if it's here. In the beginning, we start at the Wilhelmshaven port, met by the U-boat skipper and Grand Admiral Donitz. Your first mission starts there, accompanied by the tutorial that explains many aspects of U-boat. It's a complex game, and because of that, we put effort into this tutorial to be informative and useful for players. Ein Matrose der Kriegsmarine ist stets wachsam. Du bringst Schande über unsere Besatzung. In this first mission, you will receive orders to capture a radar prototype from a sabotage ship. This mission will teach you the basics of the game and give you a small taste of what it's like to play U-boat. Sandbox mode, on the other hand, puts the player right on the Atlantic and gives the player full freedom to do what they want to do. What happens in Sandbox is completely random and any two games will not be the same. You may decide to hunt for convoys, investigate sources of radio transmissions, or just follow orders assigned to you by headquarters. For example, headquarters may order you to investigate what happened to a ship they lost contact with. Missions are partially generated, but you can make decisions along the way, such as which officer will be sent to investigate what happened on board the lost ship. Sending different officers, of course, will result in different outcomes. To find a full-blown convoy, players will have to use hydrophone, count on signals from another U-boat, or just get lucky. Convoys are well defended and meant to be attacked after you get some experience under your belt. There are also many lone ships traversing the seas that are easier prizes. In the beta version, there are some limitations to resupply your U-boat, but it's still fully possible to get going. You can resupply at ports or just find some stuff in the wreckages of sunken ships, like food and spare parts. We are going to publish this version soon, and after a few more months, we will publish it in early access on Steam to let the whole community decide about its further development. It's a complex game, and we're really counting on your directions and help as we are motivated to develop it further. Thank you for your attention, and see you hunting on the seas.
Wechseln auf Dieselmotor. 